Akiva here at Twisted Tree Farm. We're taking a look at gray dogwood. A lot of people confuse the dogwoods and viburnums. Both of them have opposite branching. So let's see if we can see a good shot of that. See how the leaves come out opposite of each other? One leaf on one side and always a leaf right opposite it. Pretty much at every node and every branch. Dogwoods and viburnums will both do that. The big difference you can tell is on the veins of the leaves. So if you look at a dogwood leaf, see how those veins curve towards the tip? Every major vein is going to leave the middle vein and it's going to curve back towards the tip of the leaf. And that's a big indicator. Also dogwood flowers are going to have four petals. This is gray dogwood like I was saying earlier. And gray dogwood forms thickets. Here, let's see if we can get a good shot of this uh, little gray dogwood thicket. It's not a bush, so to speak. It's more just this plant that spreads by underground rhizomes and will pop up stems all over the place. Right here, this patch isn't that old. It's, it's only about uh, three, four feet high. When they get really old, they can be 10, 12 feet tall. And what I like about gray dogwood is the berries that they make are these white little berries that come out at the end of summer early fall they look a lot like doll's eyes it's a white berry with a with a black dot in the center and they are excellent excellent food for wildlife they have a lot of calcium and fat in them to help migrating birds on their way south through their journey if you ever want to experience birds up close find yourself a thicket of gray dogwood like this crawl into it and lay on your back when they're fruiting and you will see more birds than any bird feeder. Gray dogwood.